Good morning, this is uh, Don Taylor, Joshua coming to you from here in Hope, where I'm in Chilliwack today. Just an update, I uh, just left, a, came from a job site, and my dog Max was barking so much that uh, I couldn't stay, so I had a permanent job secured if it wasn't for my dog, so. I was asked to leave, so I'm heading back up to Hope. That's where I'm at now. It, uh, as I look over these last three months, you know, the Lord's been uh, giving me the designs for these logic shelter systems and and uh, the your community camp designs. And uh, the Lord just gave me a word this morning that we have to prepare, we need to listen to the word and obey the word that the time has come to get out of the cities. Not that destruction is coming immediately, but with this 5G and all that, he showed me yesterday that your children will be targeted, Christian children, children will be targeted by 5G. The powers to be are gonna use use this to turn the children against the parents. So if you stay in the system, if you stay in the cities, your children will be at risk. Maurice Sklar, years ago, the Lord showed him the 5G network. He's seen, it was shown to him as, as, a, as a dark web. And by this time next year, that web will be complete. Then it's gonna be pulled in. So, you know, we're going to have to obey the word and prepare to come out of the cities. And uh, with this uh, sheltered logic system, where you take a, a carport, I'm looking to use a 12 by 28 foot carport, put a floor underneath, and connect, connect that up to a, a scamper camper that's re been remodeled as a restroom facilities and all that and, and start there. Now this system would also double for putting up the homeless, a place for the homeless to stay right now in Kelowna. The uh, just heard that the homeless are being arrested. Those sleeping on the streets are being arrested and, and, and pushed out. And if you buy food for the homeless, whether, whether it be a bunch of bottles that you leave for them or buy them food you're at risk of getting a $500 fine so this this is where Canada is right now so uh, you know looking back these past three months since having to put my RV into storage and hope uh, haven't been able to get any kind of sustainable work just a little bit here a little bit there it keeps me going but nothing sustainable in it as I look back on all this, it looks like God's closing the door to, uh, as far as looking for work, and he wants me to uh, switch my work around and start working for him and, and to start building these systems. I believe there's no more time. There's no more time to work in the system. So these projects that the Lord has given me, these visions for places of refuge for these temporary camp models they need to be started so I'm not asking you to open up your pocketbook I'm not asking you for a penny God is asking you to open up a pocketbook because it's his money and he has a plan to preserve his people to get them out of the cities and if you refuse then when the web goes dark that's it you become trapped war and bloodshed is coming to america president trump cannot stop the hand of god's judgments from coming on america he's just buying time buying time so the christians will wake up and begin to pray prepare and to get out of the cities at least temporarily at least have a staging ground where people can come to 
where we can learn to live together in community, right? It doesn't have to be remote. It can be just outside the cities. But if you stay in the cities, cities, you're you're going down. Simple as that. Your your life is at risk. Your families are at risk. Your children will be targeted. There'll be forced vaccination. Forced vaccination is now they're trying. They're trying to make it compliant for homeschool for people that homeschool their kids. They're trying to make it a blanket thing where all kids are going to have to be vaccinated. Right? Forced vaccination. This is just. You know, this ties in with 5G to dump down your children, to destroy their immune system. You know, when you get vaccinated, it doesn't boost your immune system, it, it destroys it. Plus whatever else you're, you're putting in, right? So we need to get a, get, uh, not be part of this pharmacia, the sorcery, you know, that they're trying to dumb us down they've been doing this for a lot of years and people are totally unaware that their spirituality is, is in danger so anyway I'm just going to end it here at 7 minutes when I get into uh, Hope I'll upload it at McDonald's but if you value your life if you value the word if you want to be counted worthy to escape, God has given you the time now to uh, lift up my hands financially. You don't have to. You'll, you'll pay the price down the road somewhere. But God's making a way of, of escape. We need to be ready in our hearts first to have, a, to have our hearts and our minds in alignment. But if we physically stay within the cities, we will become trapped. You know, a couple years from now, we're going to see nuclear war in America. You know, Chuck Yumbrandt's seeing all this. America's going to be invaded by Russia and Chinese troops. We're going to be taken over for seven years. A couple years away. You know, before the final seven years comes in. So, you can sit on your butts all you want. But the longer that you do, the less time that you're going to have to get ready. You know, the father's, he's really uh, adamant. I could say that he's angry, but he's very adamant in what he's saying right now. So you can go ahead, live your life, enjoy it while you still have the time. Because the time is coming that you can wish that you had prepared in your heart and in the natural to help me build places of refuge for, for God's people. I'm going to end it here. This is uh, Donald Taylor, Joshua, coming to you from here in Chilliwack, British Columbia, with the word of the Lord.